Welcome back and to the second topic of the day. The alleged failure of the leadership of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, to announce the zone that would produce the presidency in 2023 has caused the leaders of the party to turn on each other. As a result of these, there are reports that more governors elected on the platform of the party are threatening to defect if the party leadership fails to show more commitment to zoning the presidential ticket to the southern region. Joining us to discuss this, we have uh, Mr. Shegu Shomi, who happens to be the former president, I mean, former spokesperson to the presidential candidate of PDP in 2019. That's Atiku Abubakar. Mr. Shegu Shomi, good evening. Good evening, how are you? Yeah, good to have you again. Okay, let's look at um, the possibility of possible uh, infighting within the party, because I know most times when these issues are not being attributed to some people, it is typical for politicians to say that we are raising the doors where there is none. What exactly is going on in PDP? Well, uh, first of all, I heard your intro. And I want to say on record that the, the People's Democratic Party of Nigeria, a party that has existed with the same name, color, logo, structure, and what have you, since about 1998, winning the election in 1999, and losing power in 2015, is a very methodological party. Okay. There is a time for everything. It is not unusual for us to get to the point where that conversation around Zuni will take place and the conversation will take place. It is unusual for anyone to expect that when we haven't gotten to that bridge, we're going to now be accused of not crossing it. That's not how we have operated. I can simply say that Nigerians can be rest assured that all of the things that will be considered in determining who and what and where the president should be will be such that it will be transparent, it will be open, it will be in tandem with our extant law and our constitution as a party, and it will not be against the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. We have never been a party that excludes anybody. Even the principle of zoning itself, it's an unwritten arrangement to achieve national harmony. The argument then be that is zoning the singular and only thing that determines what and where a president of Nigeria should come from? Right? <laughs> I would just say that Nigeria is such a political state in existence that they are almost at the position of reset. And when we find out that issues that confront us are of this nature, then we must be more circumspect in looking at the quality of person that can, you know, push the envelope forward and improve whatever it is on the leadership question in the country. I would say to our colleagues and all our people all over that let us give ourselves some calmness. Let us be aware that the party needing implode because of a process that has demonstrated some element of freedom, element of fairness, element of openness and clear integrity. Okay. And I believe that that is what one can say on that. As for the other thing you impact, is that whether the party will implode, I can assure you that the party will by no means implode. Truly, people are going to exercise their franchise to leave to wherever else they feel that their ambition can be best served. I will only add a note of caution. The great number of those who have left before facing red hearing have returned back to the PDP or have stayed in the new parties they've gone to with a lot of regret and without any improvement in their political status. Therefore, I will advise okay. the governorship 
platform that you run under PDP does not give you the moral high ground to think that you can either threaten the party or you can harass the members with your singular okay. allowed opportunity of determining where you want to be associated. Okay. Like you would have seen with Umahi that Mr. Mr. Show me. I don't want you to uh, explore all the points I, I still have for you so that we don't lose some sight of some of them. For example, uh, you, you were here some, some weeks ago when you discussed this issue of uh, Governor Umahi from Ebony State. Let's take a look at some of the things he had said after that conversation. He had come out to say that the six years of APC is way, way better than what PDP had done in 16 years for the Southeast. And uh, some examples were being cited, like the Second Niger Bridge. They mentioned the rice farming in Ebony State. They mentioned quite a lot of things. And it appears that the wooing is becoming strong in Southeast. In Southeast. So how strategic is PDP to ensure that all your brides are not taken away from your party, especially in that zone? Visa, I'll first of all say on the Umai comment that for a man who started out first as youth leader and then as vice chairman and then as chairman substantive and then as deputy governor and then as governor first term and as governor second term, all under the PDP, I think it is uncharitable. It speaks to his lack of... Uh, you know, what they call character. No, he seems For to be talking to about performance that, now, not the position you I'm gave gonna, him. I'm coming, you're not allowing me to learn. I, I want it, you to maximize to, the time. Okay. Yeah, it seems to lack of character. If he now comes back to say that in some kind of eureka, he suddenly thinks that the 16 years of the PDP, of which he was a part and parcel of, he suddenly now thinks that the APC that he wants to go to is better. In terms of performance, the critical thing you should look at is this. How safe is Nigeria? How wealthy are Nigerians? How stable is the economy? What is the impact of recession and the price of all of the basic things that are pro poor? What is the level of national coercion? What is the level of peace and stability in the country? So there is nothing on the horizon apart from some tokenism that can allow anybody to say that his life is better today than it was when PDP led. You have to know that as of 2015, Nigeria handed over the biggest and the fastest economy, yeah, almost yeah. running at seven, six percent throughout to a nation, to a people who within a very short time have made us a basket case even by our own admittance. Um, I hope we haven't lost Mr. Shegun Shoumi. If you can still hear me, yeah, I can. Okay, continue. Are, are you done with that thought? No, I, and then I, I don't believe that he could look at the southeastern part of Nigeria and then imagine or assume that one individual will represent the totality of the wishes and the opinion of people of the southeast. The only governor they have there before Umayi jumped ship is uh, Hobo Zodima, obviously a former PDP man as well. Who couldn't even do well in the election? He came a distant fourth. Um, Maker Abiora beat him still in the election. He only figured out a way to use uh, legal technicality to get the governorship there. Are you going to say that that is tantamount to say the people of the Southeast are with that party? In any case, between now and 2023 is a long time. New champions will come on board, new people that are angling to provide leadership and capacity in the service will come on board, and hopefully the conversation will be more about capacity, it will be more about development and about how the Nigerian man feels. I cannot imagine that there will ever be a time when the exchange rate, the black market exchange rate of the dollar will be nearing 503 Naira to a Naira. That's a little bit unfortunate coming from where we're coming. How much are we buying rice? How much are the basic food stocks? My okay. heart bleed, and I actually want to cry me an ocean that we can live in a country where people will just go to the farm, catch people, and slaughter them like they've just done in, in Nigeria today, Quite sad. killing as much as 43 people. And we're hearing that the numbers are even a lot more. Quite sad. So I tell you now, why would anybody be running towards that? 
Young people have just gone and had class protests, which basically indicates that they are not even happy with okay. the policing structure Show of the me. country. Mr. Is Show that me. what you are going to say represents the way to go? N not my thoughts, but there are also from their side explaining that, and uh, maybe for neutral people like us, we are asking, is this a case of better devil or we should have what we call alternative that we should run to rather than, because people will remind you of what happened on the PDP, you know, the insecurity too. And I, I think we shouldn't go in that line to look at how many lives were wasted and how many lives were not wasted. But what exactly should we be looking at in terms of, you know, PDP still giving us a viable opposition holding their Let ground? Let me explain. Let me explain on the issue of viability of the opposition. There has never been any issue that requires a political party to weigh in on that the PDP has not weighed in. We have been weighing in from the angle of the party itself, the national chairman, which is according to the public secretary, Kola Logbodino. We've been weighing in very heavily on policy suggestions on the side of our last candidate, the flag bearer and leader of our party, Atiku Abubakar. I have also been weighing in, and a lot of others have been weighing in. The only thing we haven't done is that we have not called for the dislocation of the country or to make the country ungovernable. Why? Because we understand as Democrats that in the long run, that kind of bully tactics that the APC was using when they were coming into power is what has created this kind of nebulous situation we are in now, where nobody can even feel safe in the country. And therefore, the fact that we are in opposition does not mean that we will escalate all things to the level of you know, hopelessness. At some level, we still have to be infusing hope to our people and be telling them that we told you so. We told you that these guys don't know how to run the economy. We told you that these guys are lying. We told you that these guys have nothing concrete to offer and you stood with them twice. Therefore, we all have to now manage this crisis until we get to the next opportunity where you can change them and look at another person who will be bringing a better idea around okay. governance. Uh, uh, Mr. Shekou show me if I heard you clearly, and I guess that's where the issue is from, and that's what we're looking at, the issue of the zoning. If I get you clearly, you said the standard bearer of the party, Atiku Abubakar, and it appears there are signs that he might still contest again. And the Southeast is looking at it that if Atiku is coming in, it's a signal that they may not be given the ticket. Don't you think it's high time the Southeast people are assured that this ticket will not elude them this time around? No, nobody gives anybody tickets in any of the parties. What happens is that when the time for the declaration of interest comes up, everybody will begin to declare interest. Even that which we call zoning does not presuppose that other people will not be eligible to buy the form. Because we've never had a time in this country, at least in the PDP, mm -hmm. where exclusively only one zone buys the form. Now, what will happen with Atiku Abubakar is still in the belly of time. There are quite a lot of things to consider around that ambition. But one thing that we will not accept is that we will not accept that one man is going to say his legitimate right to contest an election excludes the legitimate right of another person to also via. If the pressure should be free, if it to be fair, if it to be transparent, and if it to be credible, I think the party would have done its own duty. Therefore, anyone who wants to be president now, be they from the south, southwest, south, south, or wherever in Nigeria, they need to reach out to Nigerians. They need to understand that people must buy into the agenda. And when the agenda is sufficiently bought into, I think it will begin to signal how the the country and the party will, will process. But you cannot ask that they should try the hands of everybody at the back so that you can go. Exactly. We are not at that level yet. We I have totally, left that Egypt a long time ago. I totally, I In any case, we haven't heard anything from the APC, the rival, saying that they have exclusively zoned their party to any part. Awesome. Anything you've been hearing have been the comments of one or two people, nothing said in concrete terms. And therefore, until we cross that bridge, we will never know precisely how it played out. I will have the guess that the APC may not exclusively be zoning its presidency to the southeast.
Okay, also, I, I, I think I like your position. I totally agree with you as a journalist looking at what has happened over time. But uh, may I just remind you, maybe this is not Shegun Shomumi's opinion. I remember oftentimes when PDB is having their convention, they will always tell you, we, 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 we allow this gentleman agreement. We spread it among the national chairman, the, the, the presidential candidate, the president of the Senate. They make sure they, it goes round. And APC will always tell us that their own is, we stick to merit. We stick to merit. It is who deserves it that should be there. Now we are having APC saying that <laughs> zoning gentleman agreement should be honored. And now PDP is also telling us that nobody should be put behind. So for we followers now, for we who are watching the scenes, how do we trust politicians when they say we are for marriage and we are not for zoning? Is that no, in don't, clear terms don't miss it, so do, do not misinterpret what, it. What is PDP saying in clear terms now? Now, do not misinterpret it. The business of putting the offices in a manner that, you know, becomes inclusive of everybody in the country is the second nature of PDP. It is like PDP to say the national chairman will be in one place, the president, those kinds of balancing. We haven't seen the same level of balancing from the APC. But that's their kettle of fish. As far as the PDP is concerned, what I am saying in essence is that people are just a little bit in a hurry. There is a time when this conversation will take place. Exactly. This conversation usually do not take place in a vacuum. Part of the thing that informs this conversation is the likely interpretation of where they think the victory can be easily achieved. It therefore follows that if the people of the Southeastern extraction any individual of Southeastern extraction that wishes to throw his heart into the ring of president must at this time be lobbying, be projecting himself, be managing ideas, be pushing an agenda, an agenda that will be pan-Nigeria, but also probably of evil extraction. Okay. But if the only thing they are bringing to the table is quarrelsome argument, bully tactics, blackmail, threatening to do whatever you think it you cannot not really do. Okay. Who's going to, who's going to find out to that? So I would just say that the PDP from, from time in my Moria has never been that way. Okay. Thank you so much, Shegun Shomi, for your time and for your position on this matter. We sincerely hope that uh, these words of yours will stand the test of time and people will respect your, this position that you've shared with us. Thank you for your I time. I have a caveat. I'm not in any manner able to say, I'm not a chairman. I'm, not a, I'm just a but loyal party member <laughs> who is giving an opinion based exactly. on what I know to be true. The caveat is noted. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, uh, I'm afraid uh, this is where we'll call you to wrap on today's edition of Plus Politics. May I just inform you that by 8 p.m., we will be having ways. We've been doing that um, information for some time now, so I want you to watch out for the next program coming up at 8. But in the interim, you can follow some of this conversation on all our social media platforms. You can follow us on the YouTube, uh, our Twitter, and our Instagram. Some of these conversations will be there, and you can register your own opinion. And this is what we call it today on today's edition of Plus Politics. Plus Politics returns tomorrow, same time, same station. I am Coyote. Lade Indi, saying bye for now.